Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Hello again. And I hope that despite everything, you'll have a very happy Easter. On Maundy Thursday, I took part, as you do these days, in a Zoom video meeting with some of my colleagues. As people shared news of what was going on in their parishes, I was struck by how often they referred to the fear in their communities. People waiting anxiously for coronavirus to hit, or lashing out at real or imaginary spreaders of disease. I have to say that I find myself relatively calm at the moment, but I also have to say that this may be because I've developed such a thick skin that I can't really feel anything anyway. It's a bit like the story my dad used to tell about going to the dentist for some heavy-duty procedure and feeling that he'd done really well not to scream, only for the dentist to say at the end, you're really insensitive, aren't you? Anyway, what I do know is that fear is corrosive, destructive, utterly and finally useless. We all feel fear, some more than others, and sometimes with good reason. But at Easter we are challenged to receive the good news. Christ is risen. Death has been conquered and because of the resurrection we have nothing to fear. Two stories which you might have heard me tell before but then it's the sort of time when old stories are rehashed. First, I was once walking up off Barricane Beach as it got dark. Not so dark that I couldn't see anything, but not so light that I could be sure what I was seeing. Suddenly, I became aware of something shadowy rushing towards me, and in an instant I was plunged into my own private horror film. Fear gripped me. I was about to be eaten alive by the fiend of Barricane. An instant later, and I realised that I was being rushed by a very black and very friendly Labrador who just wanted to say hello. Looking back, I realise also that so many of my fears are like that dark, rushing thing on the beach. They turn out to be nothing more than fleeting moments of panic, and the reality turns out to be friendlier and more real than my fears. And second, when our former curate, Linda Walters, was in the last days of her life, that is, her earthly life, and she was moved to the North Devon Hospice, I went to see her. Although I knew that Linda wasn't afraid of dying, and I also knew that the hospice has an extraordinary atmosphere of calm, I didn't know what to expect, or, if I'm honest, I didn't know how I would feel on visiting her there. I don't remember what was said and I didn't stay for long but as I walked to my car I felt an overwhelming sense of joy and peace. I felt like laughing. I may even have laughed out loud. Quite unexpectedly I'd been given by whatever combination of Linda's faith and the atmosphere of peace in the hospice and certainly by God some kind of crazy feeling of lightness. The burden I'd been carrying of fear and grief was completely removed, just for a few moments, but unforgettably. I had understood that in the end we have nothing to fear. Now I look back on both of those incidents and I ask myself, when will I live and breathe the liberating truth I was offered then and have been offered many, many other times? When will my life be free from fear and full of that lightness and joy? When will death be to me no more than a laughable imposter? When will I share fully the risen life of Christ? Perhaps the answer for me and you is not yet, not all the time, but also that we are learning slowly how to accept the sweet relief that Easter brings. 
Relief that death has no final power over us. Relief that the free and joyful life which stirs in us from time to time is no mere passing consolation, but the ultimate and glorious reality that we're headed for. Relief that God is love and that nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Alleluia. A blessing for Easter. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon each one of you and all those you love this day, this Easter and forever. Amen. Alleluia again. <laughs>